Welcome to Rattan, everybody. This is a comic review. And what I want to review for you is the Fay number one. I've got to tell you, you know, I'm backing a lot of uh, Comic Skate books. And I've received my Cyber Frog. I've read my Cyber Frog. It's a good book. It's top tier. It's top tier quality. Anyone who says different is pushing an agenda. It is everything a comic book should be. But. Le Fay, Le Fay number one took me by storm. The book is phenomenal. And as a total package, I'm not just saying, like, not just on an art to art basis, EVS has Le Fay beat. If you're just looking at art, just the raw impact of the art. But as a total package, story, character development, pacing, with the art, the Fae number one is the better book. It's an amazing... This is the real deal, folks. These people are... This is it. This is how you make a comic book. Now, I, you know, I'm going to drop some imagery here. This is stuff they've shown on their campaign page. It's nothing. It's no... I'm not giving anything away here that they haven't already chosen to, to show people. The art is solid. It is, it is there, the panel work, the storytelling flow of the artwork is absolutely professional, top tier. It is fantastic. I love it. What I really appreciate is the pacing of the story. It is so good. Um, this is a... This is a pop of their their next issue. Um, I think right now it's available on Kickstarter. It may become available on Indiegogo as well. But <laughs> people, this is the book. If you're into comics and you're supporting the indie comic scene, Le Fay is a book you have to have in your library. It is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, let me just give you a, I wanna give a shout out to the creators. Um, Joshua Metzger, writer, creator. Marcel Dupree, writer, creator. And let me just tell you, the writing is on point. There is humor, the character development is on point, the pacing of the story. It is everything you want in a comic book. You have to read this book, it's so good. Uh, Miguel Angel Ruiz is the artist. He does some, look, I want it. This might be a little weird. Okay, let me... I want to see if I can show you this. Um, this is a panel, right, of a character, and he's popping off. He's popping off a seated position, and... These are the little details that I notice as a reader, as a person who loves this stuff. 
but the way that he just you know that motion where you you pop off a seat and they it, it's captured it's these are the little things that just they kind of just get my juices flowing and this is the kind of this is the level of accomplishment and art that is happening in this book it's the little human movements you know it's one thing to draw a character standing still static and make them look cool it's a whole other thing to capture a movement or a motion or or something that we all know exists but to capture it in an art form this is what this is the level these guys are working at and it it's re, it's reflected in the story it's reflected in the humor it's reflected in the artwork it is all there and you've got the colorist uh vittorio estoni i have no idea if i'm saying that right i apologize if i'm not this is the art team these guys are delivering they're delivering a top-notch experience this is this is everything you want from a comic book even though their main platform is kickstarter i don't know why that is it just is i'm going to i'm going to back the book on kickstarter even though i don't want to that's how much i believe in this book <laughs> it blew my mind it was so good it was so engaging i recommend everybody read this book support this book um this is what indie creators should aspire to it's top tier there it could stand toe to toe with any mainstream book on the market it's that good so check out lafay uh just pack this book 